we have. <laughs> what does the phrase you can't be what you can't say mean to you? As a deaf person, I needed role models growing up to be able to know what was possible to achieve. So seeing um, people in leadership roles, seeing people in sport, playing sport, doing everyday things, unless you see somebody else role modelling that behaviour, then you're able to aspire to that and go further and be a role model for other people coming after you. When I first made the national team and, and went to nationals and we were swimming with people like Ian Thorpe and Gian Rooney and Michael Clem and they were our teammates, but um, all their races were televised and our races were at the beginning and the end of the meet so that Channel 7 could set up their cameras at the beginning and then pack their cameras down while we were racing. So oh I could see people in my life doing what I was doing but not on TV and so it's changed a bit but still has a long way to go. Next one. All right. What do you think is the most significant barrier to participation for women and girls in sport? And what are some of the tangible ways we can improve this? Oh, where do we start? <laughs> <laughs> I think from a participation perspective, we actually have come leaps and bounds in the last couple of years. But how do they actually feel once they get into those environments? First thing that comes to mind is assumptions around abilities, assumptions yeah. around needs as well. And then there's just like the practical yeah. stuff, right? Like facilities yeah, yeah. are improving, but there's still a long way off. Like no, 100%. we need good change rooms with, that are well lit and car parks that are well lit. Why is it important to celebrate and elevate women and girls oh, yeah. at all levels of sport? I pick up the word at all levels of sport as well yeah. here, which I think is really important because not everyone's going to be playing the sport. Women are in sport at all levels, I feel, and I think we need to celebrate all of them. If young people are exposed to really um, enthusiastic, passionate women coaches at a really young age, that can change um, their bias and their attitudes and their beliefs. All right. How do we leave sport a better place for the future generation of women and girls who will play and work in the industry? Yeah, that's kind of the golden question, isn't it? Yeah. You got this? Uh, wow. The question I would love um, leaders in this space to keep on coming back to is, well, how can we make all the opportunity that my daughter would have the same opportunity that my son would have? I think, yeah, yeah. that's going to set us up for success in the future. Mm -hmm.